Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're uh, on US 64 in between Cleveland, Tennessee and Murphy, North Carolina. And uh, we stopped by this place. It was actually built for the 1996 Olympics uh, where they did the kayaking and uh, some other water sports up here. So but it looks like the uh, National Forest Service has took it over and kind of let it run down a little bit, but we're gonna walk around here and show you what it's all about and uh, check this place out. It does have a cool bridge going across the Okoe River, so, but we're gonna check it out and see what it is. And Y'all come on, here we go. Looks like they do have a few trails here now, so that's pretty cool. Got the Bear Paw Loop Trail, 334, Chestnut Mountain Trail, Riverview Loop, TR Express Trail, Forest Service Road 221, and then the sign at the bottom. I really like black bears are active in this area. There's always a risk of injury or death when encountering wild animals, including black bears. Please familiarize yourself on bear behavior and be aware of how to react should you encounter a black bear. So good information there. Now we got a little walkway here that provides access down to the river. I'll go check it out. See if we can get down here. You can hear the road noise from US 64. Of course, they got a sign Dangerous Waters. See if we can get down here without falling. Make sure there ain't no copperhead laying up under them rocks. Yeah, it looks like you got paved access along the river here. I guess this is where the spectators would Line up to watch the kayaking in the Olympics. I don't know if you can see it, but across the way there's a pole with a yellow light on it. Once they do release water, it starts flashing and horns start blaring to, so you can get up out of the way. Or the water gets down here to you. You see on the other side of the river there looks like a mini fire tower where they've taken one and cut it down. I don't know if we can get in it, but we'll check that out. Got another bridge on down. It may go over there.
What do y'all think? Bear? Raccoon? Look like got persimmon seeds in it. Here, you just let your mind wander. You know, I bet a skilled footsman could rock hop all the way across there. It wouldn't have to go all the way to the bridge. That's a pretty cool view. If you've never been uh, driven along US 64 between Cleveland and Murphy, Cleveland, Tennessee, and Murphy, North Carolina, you need to check it out. It's a, it's a beautiful road. It goes through the Cherokee National Forest. So you don't have near the visitors as you do in the Great Smoky Mountains, but sometimes that's not a bad thing. But yeah, if you get a chance, come check it out. US 64. All right, we made it back up from the river. Go back across the bridge and uh, check out the other side. That's a pretty cool place just to stop and stretch your legs, go for a walk. And check out what used to be. Let's get to the other side now. Uh, we made it across the bridge. We're going to go down here and check out what used to be the gift shop and vending. I've got a kiosk here. You can't read anymore. But more importantly, they have a bear proof container, trash container. got some nesting boxes they've got set up here too just to kind of show you what they look like you got a barred owl you got an eastern screech owl a southern flying squirrel one on the end looks like a bluebird but the doggone wood duck has fallen down all right we'll go here Looks like they got the place gated and chained and locked and that used to be the gift shop. It was really nice. I guess they just let it run down and finally tore it down so you could go out and they had a deck overlooking the river there and sit out there in the chairs and enjoy the peacefulness of the river. And now all that's left is the rock walls. We'll see if we can get another vantage point on it. One thing this part of the country was famous for was the copper mines. You even got a town named after it, Copper Hill. And then of course you got Ducktown. And then they worked in the Burra Burra mines around 1902. So they uh, actually built a road be able to get to the mine, so it's pretty cool. And you've got the old Copper Road Trail that you can hike. Kind of gives you an idea of what they had to deal with as far as traveling back and forth on it.
but we're not going to do that one today. We're going to walk down this trail here, right behind the old gift shop and visitor center, see if we can uh, get a different viewpoint of it. They still got it all fenced off. Anyway, you can kind of tell where it used to be. Up top, there's two, uh, two rock columns. That's all that's left. You know, looking at some of the wood coming out of those rock columns, it looks like it's burnt. So they may have had a fire and just went ahead and tore it down. I'm not sure. We're going to walk on down here, see if we can get close to the fire tower. We got down here from a lower vantage point, but as you can see, they got a sign. Restricted area, no trespassing, U.S. government property. But yeah, looking at some of the wood sticking out of these columns, it looked like it's burnt. That may have been what happened to it. And as you can look, going up these stairs, there's a fire hose. So my best guess is, yeah, it caught on fire and they finished tearing it down. Okay. Still got gift shop and vending though. Might not get much out of it. I know you can barely see it because it's kind of faded, but to get the water into the river, they actually will release it out of one of the powerhouses that's up on the side of the mountain. To make the uh, make the Olympic hot water run, and they do the same thing on the, on down on the lower part of the Koei for all the rafters. So, if you come in the summertime, you need to check that out. The Koei rafting. There's several different outfitters that do it. So, just uh, pick whichever one you want and go have you a good time on the water. There, they've got a plaque dedicated to the Koei White Water Center volunteers. They contributed over a thousand hours of service. That's pretty cool. Well, we made it to the fire tower. I don't know if we can get in there or not, but we're going to give it a shot. They do have some signage kind of explaining the reasons for the fire towers. More than the obvious to watch out for fires, but some good information here. All right, here we go. We're gonna see how far we can get. We have made it to the first level. Well, looks like as far as we can go. They've got it locked. Well, shucks. 
but still a pretty good view from here. You can see a little bit of the surrounding Cherokee National Forest. The mountains here. Some of the leaves are starting to turn. It's been pretty dry. There's a lot of dead leaves on the trees too. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up the video here at the uh, U.S. Centennial Olympic Whitewater Park. So, hope you enjoyed this video and sorry about the road noise. Of course, this is right next to U.S. 64, so a few trucks and cars and things, motorcycles going by. So, but anyway, it's kind of a neat place to visit, even though it's uh, the gift store and gift shop and all that's been either burnt down or torn down or something but anyway if you get a chance come check it out and try to ride the whole uh us 64 between cleveland tennessee and murphy north carolina you'll be pleasantly surprised so but this is a good place to stop and stretch your legs and check out what uh used to be so if you uh, enjoyed this video appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and if you hadn't subscribed to the channel yet we greatly appreciate it if you consider doing that that'll help us out for sure as we say when we're planning our next new adventure, why not go check out an old Olympic quiet water park?